Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at this example here. We are given that a cylinder containing oil, water, olive oil and mercury. The absolute pressure at the bottom, it is 233.5 kilopascal. We are asked to find the specific gravity of olive oil. Okay, looking at the diagram, we are given the specific gravity of different products. Oil is given at 0 0.9, mercury is given at 13.6, water is given at 1. Let us see, assume a temperature that is ambient. We can also assume that the atmospheric pressure it is 101.325. Let's write that which we have before we start. My atmospheric pressure at 101 kilopascal. And we are told that the absolute pressure or the total pressure at the bottom of the tank is found to be 233.5. It is calculated for us. We don't have to worry about that. Okay, so we are looking for the SG of olive oil no problem that is unknown got it okay so the first thing that we are going to do is find the um, pressure gauge of different products at their interface so we'll find that of water oil and mercury okay let us start with water we know that gauge pressure is defined to be density gravitational acceleration and height right and we can further derive this and express this as Density can be expressed as specific gravity of a chemical product in case what in this case water times the density of water at its reference point um, four degrees G H. We are given the specific gravity of water and it is given as 1. So I'm just going to write 1. Multiply by the density of water at 4 degrees, it is 1000. Um, the gravitational acceleration, it is 9.8 meters per second squared times the height. Water in this tank, it is 2.5 meters deep. And if you punch this onto your calculator, you should get 24,500. And if you can see the units that we have here, it is kilograms per meter squared. From conversion, we know that one kilogram per meter second squared is the same as one newton per meter squared, which is also the same as 1 Pascal. So basically here we have Pascal. I am going to convert this to kilopascal by simply dividing by a thousand and we will have 24.5 kilopascal. We can do the same thing for oil and mercury. So for oil, density, gravitational and height and we said we can do this also as SG in this case that of oil multiplied by the density of water at four degrees gravitational and height if you punch this onto your calculator after substituting you should get 14 112 pascal and this can easily be written as 14.112 kilo pascal let us do the same thing for mercury. Let's substitute. We are given the SG of mercury to be 13.6. Multiply by 1000 of water. 9.8 times, in this case we are given 0 0.4. So mercury is 0 0.4 meters deep into our tank. 53. 312 already in kilopascal i just divided by a thousand step two it's to now use the absolute pressure formula pressure absolute which is the pressure total at the bottom of our tank it is the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure of the components that we have here and we have p water gauge water plus gauge oil plus gauge mercury We know that this pressure atmospheric is 101.325 plus that of water. We just calculated it to be 
24.5 kilopascal um, that of oil was calculated to be and that of mercury was calculated to be 53.312 also plus the pressure of the olive oil we do not know the pressure of the olive oil hence i'm going to make it subject of the formula we are given this to be 233.5 so we are working in kilo pascal if i make the olive oil gauge pressure subject of the formula if you calculate this and punch this onto your calculator you should get 40.251 step three will be now to calculate the sg of olive we know that the gauge pressure of olive oil can be expressed as density, gravitational acceleration, and height, which can further be derived and expressed as. If I make SG subject of the formula, we should get the pressure gauge of olive oil, density of water, multiplied by gravitational acceleration, and the height. So if you punch this onto the calculator, you should have so this here it's in kpa however i can write it in pa format so i'll say 42.51 over 28,420. so this is in pa and we know that kilograms per meter second squared is also in pa hence the units will cancel out and you should be left with 1.4 and that is our answer. I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much for watching.